today in STEM Stories, we are reading Are You My Mother? This book is published by Penguin Random House and we have permission to read this as an educational read aloud. Are You My Mother? by P.D. Eastman. A mother bird sat on her egg. The egg jumped. Oh no, said the mother bird. My baby will be here. He will want to eat. I must get something for my baby bird to eat, she said. I will be back. So away she went. The egg jumped. It jumped and jumped and jumped. Out came the baby bird. Where is my mother? He said. And he looked for her. He looked up. He did not see her. He looked down. He did not see her. I will go and look for her, he said. So away he went. Down, out of the tree, he went. Down, down, down. It was a long way down. Bop. The baby bird could not fly. He could not fly, but he could walk. Now I will go and find my mother, he said. He did not know what she looked like. He went right by her and he didn't see her. He came to a kitten. Are you my mother? He said to the kitten. The kitten just looked and looked and it did not say a thing. The kitten was not his mother. So he went on. He came to a hen. Are you my mother? He said to the hen. No, said the hen. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. I have to find my mother, he said. But where? Where is she? Where could she be? Then he came to a dog. Are you my mother? He said to the dog. I am not your mother. I am a dog, said the dog. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog was not his mother. So the baby bird went on. Now he came to a cow. Are you my mother? He said to the cow. How could I be your mother? Said the cow. I am a cow. Moo. The kitten was not his mother. The hen was not his mother. The dog and the cow were not his mother. Did he have a mother? Hmm. I did have a mother, said the baby bird. I know I did. I have to find her. I will. I will. Now the baby bird did not walk. He ran. Then he saw a car. Could that thing be my mother? No, it could not. The baby bird did not stop. He ran on and on. Now he looked way, way down. He saw a boat. There she is, said the baby bird. He called to the boat, but the boat did not stop. The boat went on. He looked way, way up. He saw a big plane. Here I am, mother, 
he called out. But the plane did not stop. The plane went on. And just then, the baby bird saw a big thing. This thing must be his mother. There she is, he said. There is my mother. What do you think? Let's see. He ran right up to it. Mother, mother, here I am, mother, he said. But the big thing just said, Snort! Oh, you are not my mother, said the baby bird. You are a snort. I have to get out of here. But the baby bird could not get away. The snort went up. It went way, way up. And up and up and up went the baby bird. But now, where was the snort going? Oh, 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 what is this snort going to do? Is, what is this snort going to do to me? Get me out of here! And just then, the snort came to a stop. Where am I? said the baby bird. I want to go home. I want my mother! Then something happened. The snort put the baby bird right back in the tree. The baby bird was home. Just then, the mother bird came back to the tree. Do you know who I am? She said to her baby. Yes, I do. Yes, I know who you are, said the baby bird. You are not a kitten, you are not a hen, you are not a dog, you are not a cow, you are not a boat, or a plane, or a snort. You are a bird, and you are my mother. Okay, so your STEM task today is to create a device that can lift the baby bird back up into the nest, just like the snort did. What could you create? Thank you. Our suggested supplies include scissors, tape, cardboard, string, craft sticks and glue. You can use anything you can find around the house. These are just suggestions.